Pastor Mark gave you the context of history, what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you the context of words that are used. Because the far left is very good at redefining words. And so as you will hear these words and how they're used in law, you will be shocked because you could be reading the law and you could say, well, what's wrong with it? But we have to understand what these words mean. So to do that, I have to take you into the mind of the organizations that helped pass this law and that supported it. First one is a tweet from January of this year, and it was by CICUS. CICUS is the Sexuality, Information, and Education Council of the United States. And they say that sexual education is a vehicle for social change. And look what they mean by it. What do you think the world would look like if everyone received comprehensive sexuality education? Over onto the right. We need to prioritize educating young people about all of these concepts early on. Sex education is a golden opportunity to teach youth about dismantling systems of power and oppression that perpetuate white supremacy, homophobia, transphobia, and more. That is in sex education and not in government class? I, it's a little uh, hard for me to understand. CECUS, in conjunction with Planned Parenthood in September of 2018, put out a, a two-page memo, and plastered right on top of the two-page memo says this, if you care about abortion rights, then you should care about sex education. Sex education, in their minds, is about leading our children to abortion and quote-unquote reproductive rights, as they will call it in the law. Thirdly, Sex ed is about abolishing heteronormativity. I've never heard that word before, even though I have a master's degree. Back in 2016, in September, Gelson, which is the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, put out a tweet saying why heteronormativity is bad. And that tweet is a link to a Teen Vogue article. Now, Teen Vogue their audience, target audience, is girls 13 to 17 years of age. And this is what the article says. It's about time we kicked heteronormativity to the curb. Never heard of the term before? It's the idea that binary gender identity and heterosexual orientation, meaning there are only two sexual orientations and genders, are the norm. These are the organizations behind AB 329, and this is their understanding of the term comprehensive sexuality education. So it's all about redefining the terms, and that's important as I'll take you on this next uh, joyride here. What do they mean by sexuality? Because it's not sex ed anymore. It's not biology and anatomy. It's sexuality. So back in 2006, the World Health Organization defined sexuality as a central aspect of being human throughout life, encompasses sex, gender identities and roles, sexual orientation, eroticism, pleasure, intimacy, reproduction, quote-unquote abortion, thoughts, fantasies, desires, beliefs, attitude, values, behaviors. That's not sex ed. Furthermore, that same year, Planned Parenthood put out what they call the, the framework for comprehensive sexuality education. And Planned Parenthood, they have a parent company, an umbrella organization worldwide that's called the International Planned Parenthood Federation. And they define sexuality to include gender, pleasure, diversity and relationships, HIV, violence, and they slipped in one more thing here sexual rights and that's key because two years later IPPF would put out another declaration another document in May 2008 where they link in 10 articles of declaration that they make they link sexual rights to human rights to civil rights and they're saying those are one and the same now why is that important because if you get to redefine the terms you do not have to rewrite the laws in America, we have something called the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And that's what today we're arguing about in the Equality Act, 
or the unequal uh, act or the horrible act, whatever you want to call it, besides equality. But they are trying to make this link in order for them to redefine this so they don't have to change any law whatsoever.